Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So, uh, today's chapter uh, topic is related with the logic families. So, I want everyone to write down on a fresh page. Write down the topic as. Write down the topic as logic family and logic gates. 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 Okay, so we will be starting with this. Yes, my screen is visible to everyone. Yes, sir. Okay, so we will talk about logic families. Okay, so I want everyone to pay attention. Do not write anything. Just listen now because this is an important one. And this will actually help you out to understand the different different logic gates. Okay. Now here, when you talk about the logic families, before you talk about the logic families, uh, uh, we should actually know some basics. What basics you should know? You should know what is an analog, what is an analog circuit. You should know what is a digital circuit. You should know what is an analog, you know, uh, signals. What are analog signals? What are analog signals? And similarly, what are the digital signals? What are digital signals? So whenever you talk about this uh, analog circuits and, uh, you know, analog signal, we are very much interested to understand how these circuits look like and uh, how we can uh, differentiate between the logic uh, between the analog signals and digital signals okay now uh, in simple terms i will explain you when you talk about the analog signal okay now this can be with respect to on x axis and y axis on the y axis you can have voltage you can have voltage or else you can have or you can have current or you can have current and on the y axis, sorry, on, on the x axis, you can have with respect to time, with respect to time. Okay. So this is your x axis. This is your y axis. So whenever you have to plot your analog signal, it will be with respect to voltage versus time, or it will be with respect to current versus, versus time. And whenever uh, you have to plot your analog signal, it will be in the continuous form. So I will have a continuous waveform. Most of the time for simplicity, for better understanding, we draw, we draw analog signal in the, that is in the form of uh, sinusoidal signal. Okay. This is a sinusoidal signal. This is a sinusoidal signal. Okay. Uh, in other way, I can say, if I have to present your analog signal, uh, that is a sinusoidal signal. So this is my sinusoidal signal. If you are interested in cosine signal, this is your cosine signal. This is your cosine signal. The only uh, difference between the sine and cosine is their phase shift of 90 degree. The phase shift of 90 degree. Okay. So this is either voltage or current. This is also either voltage or current with respect to time. With respect to time. Now why do we say this is an analog signal? Only because uh, if you see the nature of uh, this signal, this is a continuous changing form. What, what do you mean by continuous changing form? At, at every time. At every time you will see there is a change in the voltage. At every time you will see there is a change in the voltage. For example, at this instant you will see the voltage at this level. At this instant you will see the voltage at this level. At this instant you will see the voltage at this level and so and so forth. So with respect to time there is a change in the voltage or current. Then that, that is why it is called as an analog signal. Okay. It is not in discrete form. It is not in discrete form. Okay. So analog signal always varies continuously. And it can take infinite values for a given range. It will take infinite values. What do you mean by infinite value? Infinite value means if I am taking the range from this point, from this point to suppose this point. So if I am taking a one cycle, if I am taking a one cycle, Okay, so there are infinite number of uh, there are infinite number of voltage levels. 
there are infinite number of voltage levels and if you if you uh, if you club all these infinite voltages together you will see a continuous waveform you will see a continuous waveform okay so that is the characteristics of this analog uh, waveform this is a characteristics of analog waveform now you might be having question then uh, this analog waveform we have derived from the analog circuit so what what is actually there in the analog circuit there so if you talk about analog circuit if i'm saying this is my analog circuit if i'm saying this is my analog circuit so you have given the voltage you have given the voltage or you are giving uh, any input so voltage is the input which is given and if you see at the output you will have this continuous waveform you will have this continuous waveform okay so a analog circuit is the circuit actually which processes your continuous value okay in the terms of voltage or in terms of current okay and in this particular analog circuit you will have uh, different different analog circuits uh, sorry the electronic circuits okay now what are the different different analog uh, components are there you can have resistor you can have capacitor you can have inductor and so and so forth okay so these are called analog components resistor capacitor and inductor so in in any your uh, analog circuit if you are using this resistor if you are using your capacitor or if you are using your inductor then it form it comes to be under the analog circuits okay and whatever the output you will get that will be in the form of continuous waveform okay the uh, it will be with respect to voltage versus current or it will be with respect to current uh, uh, sorry voltage versus time or it will be with respect to current versus time okay so your analog circuit uh, which consists of resistor capacitor and inductor which processes your continuous waveform and it actually gives you the uh, continuous waveform as an output it gives you the continuous waveform as an output okay so this is the analog circuit now what about the uh, what about your digital circuit or digital wave, uh, waveform now if you see your digital waveform this will be in the discrete form this will be in the discrete form this will be in the discrete form okay what is, what does it mean that at some at particular instant of time it will be on and some instant of time it will be off it will be off now this thing also can be with respect to voltage or current what i mean to say that at t1 if i'm talking about in terms of voltage at t1 your voltage is on or your current is on at t2 at t2 your current is off i do not have any i do not have anything which is in between t1 and t2 i do not have anything in respect to in between t1 and t2 so i have only two instances that is t1 and t2 i have only two instances that is i'm talking about it with respect to time so at t1 only i have on time uh, so, uh, i have uh, the current present or the voltage present at t2 i have current absent or current off or voltage off i do not have anything in between this i do not have anything in between this so at two instance so these are called as two instances t1 and t2 okay so here i can say this is in the binary form i will have either on means one on means one and off means zero on means one off uh, off means zero so this digital signals vary in discrete steps and take finite values in the given range so do you see the finite uh, finite range what are the finite range t1 may on t2 may off again can i say t3 may on t4 may off can i say t5 may on and suppose here at t6 it is off so it is called as a finite value so which are the finite value again i am saying t1 you have on time t1 you have on time that is it is one logic one at t2 it is off time that is off time means it is zero so always your waveform will have discrete value and it will be either one zero or zero one or zero one or zero one or zero so it is one zero one zero one zero in a continuous manner this is just for you to give an understanding 
okay now this digital signal carries uh, actually when you talk about the computers it carries your binary language that is ones and zeros so your digital signal carries the data in the form of zero and ones your uh, it carries the data in the form of zero and ones then what are the digital circuits so when you talk about the digital circuit if you talk about the digital circuit now here in digital circuit also you have some input and you have an output your output will be in the discrete form that is ones and zeros it will be in the form of ones and zeros so here if you give the voltage because to to make your circuit work you have to give voltage that is obvious there is no gadget which doesn't work with the voltage every time it will be in the form of battery it will be form of the power supply depending upon the specification of the gadget whether you require plus 5 volt 6 volt 7 volt plus 12 volt and so on and so forth okay so every appliances every gadgets works on the in, uh, uh, works on the voltage supply okay so every whether it is a digital circuit or a, uh, or analog circuit we have to give the input uh, but what is an output that depending upon uh, that is uh, purely the you know the work of a digital circuit so when you talk about the digital circuit you have to understand that in this digital circuit we have to uh, uh, we have to see that digital circuit components are what which will give you the ones and zeros so when you talk about the digital circuits here you will understand that it consists mostly your logic gates your digital circuit will consists most of logic gates so it can, it consists of gates it consists of flip flop okay so these are the components which are mostly used in the uh, digital circuits these are the components which are mostly used in the digital circuits okay so most of the time if you see you will have the gates you will have this flip flops you will have some ics which are electronic ics and so on and so forth so whenever you are using this components in the circuit to give you the output as a uh, ones and zeros then these are called as a digital circuit then these are called as a digital circuit okay then they are called as a digital circuit so uh, these digital circuit if you again have to analyze okay so if i have to give you some example you have some microprocessor you have microcontroller you have uh, you know you have uh, uh, you can say your digital phones these are all the gadgets which are under the digital circuits okay and one important thing is that these digital circuits uh, these digital circuits uh mostly uh, they are called as a switching circuit they are called as a switching circuit now we are now here we are approaching towards the logic families now so gradually we are moving towards the understanding of logic families so this digital circuit if you uh, do some analysis you will find that this log uh, this digital circuit follows the switching characteristics it follows the switching characteristics it follows the switching characteristics so switching characteristics means here you will have either on or you will have off so that is what, that is why it is called as a switching you will go from 1 to 0 or you will go from 1 to 0 or you will go from 0 to 1 there is no other third option so that is why it is called as a switching characteristics so your digital circuit will follow the switching characteristics because we have only can you see the output you have 1 0 1 0 1 0 there is nothing that is 0.33 there is nothing 1.22 there is nothing 0.79 there is nothing there is no fraction there is only 0 or or it is 1 okay so you are switching you are switching between ones and zeros you are switching between ones and zeros okay so as far as you are this subject is concerned this is called subject ka naam kya hai digital system design so we always talk about digital circuits we do not talk about analog circuits we do not talk about analog circuits okay so this logic uh, digital circuit will contain will have uh, the what components it will have uh, logic gates it will have flip flops it will also have it may also have uh, see here now what i am writing maine ab tak sirf gates aur flip flop likha tha अब मैं क्या लिख रहा हूं इट ऑल्सो मे हैव डायोड्स इट मे ऑल्सो हैव बीजेडी दैट इज अ ट्रांजिस्टर ओके 
so diodes and bgds are can be also the part of digital circuit why because because your diode follows switching characteristic your bgt follows switching characteristic okay that is why they can be the component of digital circuit yes they are the component of digital circuit your diode and bgt kyunki diode aur bgt bhi on off ka kaam karte hai your diode also works or it is uh, it works as a switch it has a switching characteristics it will work as on off on off so can i say your diode works as a switch yes it works as a switch can i say your bjt works as a switch yes it works on a switch okay so to explain you this thing more in detail if i am drawing the diode all of you pay attention now if i am drawing a diode if i am drawing a diode now we are gradually moving towards the understanding of logic families we have started with the analog signal analog circuit digital signal digital circuit what are the components in the analog circuit what are the components in the digital circuit and gradually gradually we are moving towards the understanding of logic family with the understanding of diode and bgt because maine bataya tha ki your digital circuit may also contain diode may also contain bgt why so because both of this diode and bgt is working as a uh, switch they follow the switching characteristic and what do you mean by switching characteristics either one or zero either one or zero okay so just try to understand for the diode so this is a diode you know that this is a anode part and this is a cathode part okay anode part and cathode part okay now here when i am giving the external voltage if i am giving an external voltage if i am giving an external voltage so your positive is connected to the anode and your negative is connected to the cathode okay and whenever you give this type of a voltage where positive is connected to the anode and negative is connected to the cathode then this diode works in the forward bias then this diode works in the forward bias and your current flows in this direction from anode to cathode from anode to cathode from anode to cathode okay but as soon as you change this as soon as you change the voltage level as soon as you change the voltage level whenever you give negative to the anode whenever you give negative to the anode and positive to the cathode then there is no current flow then it is a reverse bias then it is a reverse bias then it is a reverse bias so there is no current flow so there is no current flow okay so can i make a statement here that whenever your diode is forward biased whenever your diode is forward biased your diode works as a closed circuit it works as a closed circuit it works as a closed circuit and whenever diode is a reverse biased then it is work as a open circuit it works as an open circuit so can i say this is a characteristics of a switch so this is your switch this is your switch ye jab aap niche laate ho ye switch ko then it is a closed circuit jab aap usko upar leke jate ho then it is an open circuit okay so under the forward bias aapka ye circuit kab complete banega ye aapka jo diode yahan pe hai ye circuit kab complete hoga whenever this switch is closed and when that switch is closed under the forward bias condition aur aapka forward bias kab hota hai whenever you connect anode to the positive and cathode to the negative okay then when this switch will be open ye switch upar kab jayega that under the reverse bias and under the reverse bias it works as an open circuit so there is no there is no current flow there is no current flow in the circuit under the open circuit और आपका डायोड रिवर्स बायस में कब जाएगा वेन एवर योर योर एनोड इज कनेक्टेड टू द निगेटिव एंड कैथोड इज कनेक्टेड टू द पॉजिटिव देन इट इज अ ओपन सर्किट देन इट इज अ ओपन सर्किट सो योर डायोड वर्क्स एज अ स्विच योर डायोड वर्क्स एज अ स्विच ओके सो कैन आई अगेन मेक अ स्टेटमेंट कैन आई अगेन मेक अ स्टेटमेंट वेन दिस स्विच इज क्लोज यू हैव आउटपुट एज वन वेन दिस स्विच इज ओपन यू हैव आउटपुट ऑफ जीरो और ये कल ये करते रहो सो वॉट इज एन आउटपुट it will be 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 so you have this digital output 
you have this digital output. You have this digital output. Okay. The same thing applies. The same thing applies to the BJT. Same thing applies to the BJT. Same thing applies to the BJT. So here you have a base. Here you have a collector. Here you have an emitter. Okay. And this is the arrow which is pointing outward. So this is an NPN transistor. So this is N. This is P. This is P. This is NPN transistor. Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, NPN. So it is. Uh, this is N. This is NPN. Okay. So whenever I'm connecting an external voltage, so again, here I have given positive and here I have given negative. Diya. So this is positive and this is negative. Okay. And provided there is a high voltage at the base, there is a high voltage at the base. So there is a high voltage. There is a high voltage at the base. Okay, so in that case, you will see there is a current flow. There is a current flow from collector towards the emitter. Okay, so when there is a current flow, can I say yeah, it is nothing but on state, on state of uh, your BJT, of your uh, transistor. This is on state. Aapka transistor on hai. When there is a current flow from collector towards the emitter. But as now this is a high voltage with respect to high voltage, this is grounded. This is grounded. But when I take reverse, leta ho, reverse bole to, here if I am grounding this, I am giving 0 volt. I am giving 0 volt de rahu, base pe, as compared to the as compared to the emitter. As compared to the emitter. As compared to the emitter. Then there is no current flow. Current will not flow. Current will not flow. So in that case, your transistor is in off state. Your transistor is in off state. Okay. Your transistor is in off state. Now again, can I comment that your BJT here also works as a switch? Okay. So whenever, whenever you are giving high voltage to the base with respect to the emitter, your uh, current will flow from the transistor and transistor is in on state. And whenever you are doing zero voltage, to the base as compared with the emitter then there is no current flow from the transistor the transistor is in off state so again you have on off on off on off so this goes on so we have the output as one zero one zero one zero so one zero one zero one zero and this goes on okay so here also i can comment my the transistor also works as a switch and it is a part of a digital circuit okay and it is a part of a digital circuit so have you understood the explanation till uh, till uh, uh, so and so far have you understood the explanation of a diode everything i think you have covered in the first year this is just brushing up your knowledge and to give you the understanding that what, what does what do you mean by logic family now we are approaching towards the logic family any questions you have related with, with this please ask me no Kisiko kuch problem ni everything's fine. Is everything is fine to everyone? Shall I proceed? Yes, sir. Okay. Now here we are going to understand now the logic family. Here we are going to understand the logic family. But with the with understanding of the diode and the transistor, and what do you mean by digital circuit, we have to also understand. What is a posi positive and negative logic? So the AB ek bar padlo. What is a positive and negative logic? What is positive and negative logic? Ye bhi important hai. Ye isle mein bata rahu because in the definition of logic families, hum ek word ko encounter karenge aur wo word ke related I should be able to explain you what is a positive and negative logic. Okay. So try to understand what is a pause, what is a positive and uh, negative logic. Okay. Now we have understood there are two logic levels. There are two logic levels. What logic level kya hai? What logic level hai? Ek hai high. Now, now there are different ways in which you can say this. Either you say high. Okay. If you high bolenge, to this becomes low. Ya fir isko bolo one. So if you say one, you have to say zero. Or if you say 
ऑन तो इसको ऑन बोलूंगा तो इसको मुझे बोलना पड़ेगा ऑफ सो आई हैव गिवन यू थ्री डिफरेंट वेज इन विच यू विल बी एबल टू यू नो द द आउटपुट लेवल्स यू विल बी एबल टू शो द आउटपुट लेवल्स सो कैन आई से देर आर टू आउटपुट लेवल्स देर आर टू आउटपुट लेवल्स द आउटपुट लेवल्स कैन बी इधर हाई और लो इट कैन बी इधर वन और जीरो और इट कैन बी इधर ऑन और ऑफ तो आपको जैसे ठीक लगता है आप वैसा बोल सकते हो आपको जैसे ठीक लगा है आप वैसा बोल सकते हो ओके आई हैव गिवन यू थ्री डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस टू टू मेंशन द आउटपुट लेवल्स आउटपुट लेवल ऑफ व्हाट आउटपुट लेवल ऑफ डिजिटल सर्किट आउटपुट ऑफ लेवल ऑफ डिजिटल सर्किट तो इसका मतलब क्या है ये मेरा डिजिटल सर्किट है ये मेरा डिजिटल सर्किट है मैं इनपुट दे रहा हूँ और मैं आउटपुट ले रहा हूँ तो आउटपुट मेरा जो आउटपुट रहेगा वो क्या रहेगा इट विल बी ईदर इट विल बी ईदर हाई और लो और इट विल बी वन और जीरो और इट विल बी ऑन और ऑफ ये तो मेरा आउटपुट में आ रहा है ना ये तो मेरा आउटपुट में आ रहा है तो आपको जैसा बोलना है वैसा बोल सकते हैं हाई लो बोल सकते हो वन जीरो बोल सकते हो या फिर ऑन ऑफ बोल सकते हो ओके नाउ हियर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज अ पॉजिटिव लॉजिक एंड निगेटिव लॉजिक नाउ हियर इन पॉजिटिव लॉजिक uh try to understand that you have a high voltage level you have a high voltage level for logic 1 and low voltage level for logic 0 ab uska matlab kya hai here now whenever i'm talking about the whenever i talk about the logic levels that is a positive logic level you have high voltage now here high voltage means what suppose suppose this is your zero volt this is your zero volt okay so i am going from 0 volt to 5 volt i am going from 0 volt to 5 volt so this is my plus 5 volt this is my plus 5 volt so in the positive logic level in the positive logic level your logic 0 represents your logic 0 represents 0 volt so that means this is my logic 0 this is my logic 0 this is my logic 0 so and what about the 5 plus 5 volt so plus 5 volt is represented by logic 1 it is represented by logic 1 so this is happening where this is happening in positive logic this is happening in positive logic this is happening in positive positive logic fir se main bata raha hu it is simple it is simple that your logic 0 logic 0 means low level so 0 volt bolo ya fir low level bolo so in your positive logic logic zero is nothing but zero voltage and logic one logic one represents plus 5 voltage okay so zero volt means low level and 5 5 volt is high level okay so 5 volt means this is high this is high high level so hamesha yaad rakhna positive logic ki jab main baat karta hu to logic 0 bole to 0 volt logic 1 bole to plus 5 volt ab ye plus 5 bolo ya fir plus 6 bolo jaise aapko bolna hai sirf mujhe yahi baat batana hai ki logic 0 0 volt 0 volt this cannot be 0.2 this cannot be anything okay kyunki aapko pata hai logic 0 aur logic 1 yahi do hi logic hai तो लॉजिक वन जीरो हमेशा जीरो वोल्ट के साथ जाएगा और लॉजिक वन हमेशा प्लस फाइव वोल्ट प्लस सिक्स लो प्लस नाइन बोलो प्लस ट्वेल्व बोलो देर इज नो हार्म ओके बट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर लॉजिक वन विल हैव ओनली वन वैल्यू प्लस फाइव बोलो तो वो प्लस फाइव रहेगा लॉजिक वन के लिए प्लस सिक्स वोल्ट बोलेंगे तो प्लस सिक्स वोल्ट ही रहेगा लॉजिक वन के लिए प्लस नाइन बोलेंगे तो प्लस नाइन वोल्ट ही रहेगा लॉजिक वन के लिए लेकिन दिस इज नॉट दिनारियो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट लॉजिक जीरो लॉजिक जीरो विल ऑलवेज हैव जीरो वोट दिस इज द केस फॉर दिस इज द केस फॉर पॉजिटिव लॉजिक दिस इज द केस फॉर पॉजिटिव लॉजिक ओके अभी निगेटिव लॉजिक में क्या होता है इसका उल्टा होता है इसका उल्टा होता है इसका कैसे उल्टा होता है यू हैव जीरो वोल्ट सो दिस इज जीरो वोल्ट एंड हियर यू यू हैव प्लस फाइव वोल्ट लेकिन यहाँ पे उल्टा ये होता है कि लॉजिक वन रिप्रेजेंट जीरो वोल्ट logic 1 represents 0 volt and logic 0 represents 
5 volt. Logic 0 represents plus 5 volt. So this is a case of a negative logic. This is a case of a negative logic. This is a case of a negative logic. Abhi ye, ye aapko isle bataya because in the definition of logic families, you will see this. In the definition of logic families, you will see this. Okay. So try to understand that logic 1 represents 0 volt and logic 0 represents plus 5 volt in negative logic. And as far as the positive logic is concerned, logic 0 is concerned for 0 volt and logic 1 is concerned or, or related with the plus 4. Okay. So they are called as a logic families. Now, kuch kuch, uh, compo, uh, kuch, kuch devices hai jo, jo lo positive logic follow karte hai aur kuch kuch jo hai wo negative logic follow karte hai. Okay. Kuch kuch hai jo positive logic follow karte hai aur kuch hai jo negative logic follow karte hai. But maximum to maximum time, most of the devices, they follow positive logic. They follow positive logic. And there are very few which follows negative logic. So we negative logic. Ke mein jada nahi baat we will talk about the positive logic only, where logic 0 is 0 volt and logic 1 is high volt. It is a high volt or it is plus positive 5 volt. Uh, just hold on. Huh? So now we will be talking about the logic families now. Now we will be talking about the logic families. Before we understand the logic families, what are the, what are the prerequisites that thing I have explained you? What are the prerequisites that, that thing I have explained you? Now we will be understanding the logic families now. Now I want everyone to write down in your register the definition of a logic family. Please write down in your register all of you. Write down in your register the definition of logic families. Write down the group of compatible devices. Aap log likh rahe ho? Yes, sir. So please write down the, the definition of logic family. This definition is important. We have to understand this definition. What is a logic family? Write down the group of compatible devices. The group of compatible devices. Bracket me liko integrated circuits. Bracket me liko integrated circuits. The group of compatible devices. Bracket me apne likha hai. Integrated circuits. Bracket close. With the same logic levels. With the same logic levels. With the same logic levels. And supply voltages. With the same logic levels and supply voltages are called as a digital logic family are called as a digital logic family are called as a digital logic family full stop full stop so i want you to underline the same logic levels usko underline karo the same logic levels the same logic levels so you have written the definition as the group of compatible devices that is integrated circuits with the same logic levels and supply voltages are called as a digital logic family are called as a digital logic family now here if i have to tell you about the logic families one thing is clear that it is a group of compatible devices and what do you mean by compatible devices compatible devices means which are compatible with each other and which are these devices? These are all ICs. These are all ICs. Integrated circuit. IC stands for integrated circuit. Okay. 
आप जो भी आईसी अभी देखोगे कॉलेज में या फिर आप लोगों ने देखा भी होगा आईसी सो वॉट एवर द आईसी वी सी सो सम सो आउट ऑफ दिज आईसी आईसी विच आर कंपेटेबल विद ईच अदर इन वॉट सेंस दे आर कंपेटेबल आपने जो अंडरलाइन किया है इन दैट सेंस इन वॉट सेंस दे आर कंपेटेबल विद द सेम लॉजिक लेवल अभी मैंने आपको दो लॉजिक लेवल बताया था एक पॉजिटिव लॉजिक लेवल और एक निगेटिव लॉजिक लेवल तो एक आईसी है जो पॉजिटिव लॉजिक लेवल को फॉलो कर रही है एक दूसरी आईसी है जो निगेटिव लॉजिक लेवल को फॉलो कर रही है कैन आई से दे आर कंपेटेबल विथ इच अदर नो दे आर नॉट कंपेटेबल विथ इच अदर दोनों का कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स डिफरेंट है क्या कैरेक्टरिस्टिक डिफरेंट है पॉजिटिव लॉजिक लेवल में लॉजिक जीरो जीरो वोल्ट को रिप्रेजेंट करता है और लॉजिक वन प्लस फाइव वोल्ट को रिप्रेजेंट करता है लेकिन निगेटिव लॉजिक लेवल में इसका उल्टा है क्या उल्टा है लॉजिक वन रिप्रेजेंट करता है जीरो वोल्ट को और लॉजिक जीरो रिप्रेजेंट करता है प्लस फाइव वोल्ट को सो दे आर नॉट कंपेटेबल इसलिए मैंने आपको अंडरलाइन करके दिया दे फॉलो द सेम लॉजिक लेवल दे फॉलो द सेम लॉजिक लेवल एंड सप्लाई वोल्टेज सप्लाई वोल्टेज इज ऑल्सो द सेम तो दोनों में पॉजिटिव और निगेटिव अगर वोल्टेज में हम अगर बात करेंगे सप्लाई वोल्टेज को तो दोनों को हम सेमी वोल्टेज देते हैं फाइव वोल्ट या फिर सिक्स वोल्ट या ट्वेल्व वोल्ट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ दट आईसी लेकिन यहाँ पे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है कि वो दोनों भी सेम लॉजिक लेवल को फॉलो करने चाहिए ओके okay? तो ये अगर ग्रुप ऑफ कंपेटेबल आईसीज है तो ये ग्रुप ऑफ कंपेटेबल आईसीज को हम लॉजिक फैमिलीज बोलेंगे उनको हम लॉजिक फैमिलीज बोलेंगे and what is the function of this they perform different logic functions they perform different different logic fun functions okay so what are these logic families wo kon kon se categories hai to that thing we are going to study now that thing we are going to study now okay that thing we are going to study now but before uh, i uh, explain you that thing i have to explain you what is integrated ic or what is what is uh, integrated circuit or ic is my screen visible to everyone yes sir yes, yes now see here on the screen now now see on the screen what is an integrated circuit it is a integrated circuit is what it is informally we say a chip or we short in short mein hum bolte hai ic so what is that it is a semiconductor crystal i want everyone to write this definition so integrated circuit bracket me likho informally a chip is a semiconductor crystal semiconductor ko underline karo most often silicon most often most often silicon bracket close containing the electronic components for the digital gates and storage elements which are inter interconnected on the chip which are interconnected on the chip so this is the definition of this is the definition of ic Have you written the definition? One minute, sir. Please write down. Integrated circuit is a uh, semiconductor crystal containing the electronic components for the digital gates and storage elements, which are interconnected on the chip. Which are interconnected on the chip. ट्रांजिस लिखा आप लोगों ने नाउ सी यर वेन आई टॉक अबाउट द आईसी ओके तो आपको आप जब सिर्फ जब आप आईसी देते हैं तो सिर्फ आपको ऐसा दिखता है बस और उसके उसके पेड़ दिखते हैं लेकिन उसके अंदर क्या होता है दैट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट तो इट इज मेड अप ऑफ अ सेमी कंडक्टर क्रिस्टल विच इज ऑफन कॉल्ड एज अ सिलीकॉन ओके और सिलीकॉन सेमी कंडक्टर क्रिस्टल now in this crystal in this particular semiconductor it contains electronic components for the digital gates and storage elements which are interconnected on the chip so these ic it contains the gates that is a digital gates along with the storage storage components and they are interconnected and they are interconnected 
and they are interconnected. So which are these components? The components can be your transistor. I have already told you transistor. It can be diodes. It can be diodes. You can write down this also. It contains transistor. It contains diodes. It also contains resistors. And capacitor. And capacitor. I have told you that analog may capacitor use hota hai. But here also in digital we are using capacitor. Can any one of you tell me the function of this capacitor? In digital electronics? What is the function of the capacitor in this digital electronics? Any one of you? Have you studied the capacitor? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, tell me, digital circuit may capacitor ka use hota hai? So it stores energy. Sir. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You can say it stores the charge. ये देखो यहाँ पे आपका डेफिनेशन में स्टोरेज है ना तो कैन ऐसे स्टोरेज का काम कैपेसिटर करता है और ये चारों में से ये ये बाकी के तीनों में से गेट्स का काम कौन करता है ट्रांजिस्टर और डायोड भी करता है ना और रजिस्टर क्या काम करता है इट्स लिमिट द करंट ओके तो एक्चुअली देखा जाए तो रजिस्टर हम एनालॉग में भी यूज करते हैं और हम डिजिटल में भी यूज करते हैं ओके okay? इसका यही फंक्शन होता है कि टू लिमिट द करंट बस नथिंग मोर देन दैट इट इज नॉट यूज टू स्टोर इट इज नॉट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू यूज एज गेट्स गेट्स बोले तो वन एन ऑफ वन एन जीरो वो रिमेम्बर करो यहाँ पे ट्रांजिस्टर यूज कर रहा हो बिकॉज इट इज यूज एज ए स्विच वन जीरो वन जीरो डायोड भी यूज एज ए स्विच वन जीरो वन जीरो Register is used to limit the current, and capacitor is used to store the uh, your store the charge, or which to store the charge or to store your one and zero. Okay, so actually, if you see, then it is like a flip flop. So we are going to learn all this in the future. In the future lectures, we will be able to live. Okay, so I hope you have understood the definition that it is a chip. It is a made up of a. It contains. It is a small silicon semi uh, semiconductor crystal, which is called as a chip. and it is used for uh, digital gates and uh, storage of elements which are interconnected on the chip ye important hai interconnected ye chhota sa chip dikh raha hai mujhe size mein lekin ye gates aur storage ka jo bhi elements usme hote ye sab interconnected rehte they are all are interconnected okay and what they contains they contain transistors they contain diodes resistors capacitors is it fine to everyone is it fine to everyone Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, one more thing I need to tell you that these ICs are categorized into different, different. You know, uh, they ha they have different, different names, and depending upon what, depending upon what. See the levels of chip integration. आपका chip आप वो जो IC है वो क्या level पे integrate कर रहे हो? उसके basis पे you have one, two, three, four. Okay. So level of chip integration. will give you the name of the chip as ssi which is called as a small scale integrated ic it may be also called as msi which is called as a medium scale integrated ic it may also called as lsi which is a large scale integrated ic or it may be also called as vlsi which is a very large scale integrated ic so what are the differences in all these four the difference lies between number of gates agar wo ic mein 10 gate se kam hai दस गेट से कम है तो वो एस एस आई बोला जाएगा अगर वो टेन से हंड्रेड गेट से वो आईसी में तो उसको एम एस आई कहा जाएगा अगर हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड गेट से उसके अंदर आईसी के अंदर तो उसको एल एस आई कहा जाएगा और अगर उसको टेन थाउजेंड थाउजेंड से लेके टू मिलियन ऑफ गेट्स आर देर देन इट इज कॉल एज एल एस आई वी एल एस आई वेरी लार्ज स्केल इंटीग्रेटेड आईसी सो इट ऑल डिपेंड्स अपॉन हाउ मेनी गेट्स आर देयर इन द आईसी depending upon the number of gates in the ic we call it as ssi msi lsi or vlsi okay so this can be asked as a viva question you should know this okay the se kam ssi the se 10 se 100 tak msi 100 so se 1000 tak lsi aur 1000 se leke billion tak it is vlsi 
Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Any question before I proceed? If you have any question, please ask me. If you have any question, sir. please ask me. Sir. Ha ha. Bolo bolo. Sir, the number of gates on a single chip, you know? Yeah, yeah. Number of gates on a single chip. Yes. Ha. So in that case, in that case, can I say your processor? आपके जो कंप्यूटर में जो प्रोसेसर आप इंटेल का यूज करते हो या फिर आपका डेस्कटॉप कंप्यूटर में जो आपका प्रोसेसर यूज करते हो दैट इज आल्सो आईसी बट इट कंटेंट्स मेनी मेनी गेट्स सो कैन आई से इट इज अ वीएलएस है इट इज वेरी लार्ज स्केल इंटीग्रेटेड आईसी सो इट इज इट्स अ हाईली कॉम्प्लेक्स डिजाइन इन व्हिच मेनी मेनी नंबर ऑफ गेट्स आर एम्बेडेड और इंटीग्रेटेड वी डू नो इट हैज अ गेट्स इट हैज अ ट्रांजिस्टर इट हैज अ डायोड इट हैज अ रजिस्टर एवरीथिंग बट एवरीथिंग ऑन अ सिंगल चिप एवरीथिंग ऑन अ सिंगल चिप so that is a more complex design okay so that is uh, that will come under vlsi that is very large scale integrated circuit okay and one more thing yes we also have uh, this many ssi pata hai aapko msi lsi vlsi there is also uh, ulsi and gsi okay can you see here 100k gates per chip 1 mega gates per chip okay so ultra large scale and this is a great uh, this is a gsi okay just find out the uh, you know the full form of gsi so depending upon these are uh, actually we have till vlsi only but if you have to go more than the number of gates per chip then you have ulsi and gsi okay so these are also one additional part i have to tell you so if you have uh, understood till this point then the next part is then the next part is related with related with the logic families now now we are moving towards the understanding of logic families i want everyone to draw this tree diagram abhi humne logic families pad liya abhi humne bataya tha ki the group of compatible devices तो अभी हमको देखना है कि ये लॉजिक फैमिलीज के कौन कौन से ग्रुप बनते हैं ये लॉजिक फैमिलीज के कौन कौन से ग्रुप बनते हैं ये लॉजिक फैमिलीज के कौन कौन से ग्रुप बनते हैं ओके सो ऑल ऑफ यू आर देयर विद मी यस यस सो लॉजिक फैमिलीज का जो डेफिनेशन हमने देखा उसके बेसिस पे मैं, मेरा भी काम है आपको बताने का कि कौन कौन से ग्रुप्स है ओके okay? which are compatible with each other which are compatible with each other okay so we are going to see the groups now logic families mein hum abhi yahan pe jo dekhne wale hai wo hum categories dekhenge ki logic families ke kon kon se categories hote hai so there are two broad categories it is bipolar logic family bipolar logic family and here you have unipolar you have unipolar logic family you have unipolar logic family i will explain you each and everything one by one but before that please complete the table in bipolar you have saturated saturated bipolar logic family and you have unsaturated unsaturated अनसेचुरेटेड बायपोलर लॉजिक फैमिली आप अनसेचुरेटेड बोल सकते हो या फिर नॉन सेचुरेटेड बोल सकते हो इन सेचुरेटेड देर आर मेनी देर आर मेनी सो यू हैव आर टी एल यू हैव डी टी एल यू हैव टी टी एल यू हैव आई स्क्वेर एल यू हैव आई स्क्वेर एल यू ऑल्सो हैव डी सी टी एल डी सी टी एल डी सी टी एल Okay. Under the unsaturated, you can just write down two. One is ECL, ECL, and the other one is Scott Key TDL. I hope you are writing down this Scott Key TDL, Scott Key TDL, Scott Key TDL. under the uniform you have mainly three i'm giving you the main main ones okay one is called as a pmos 
other one is called as n mos third one is called as a c mos okay so this are the logic families the classification of logic families you can write down the heading of this particular tree diagram as a classification of logic families so broadly your logic families is categorized into two part bipolar logic families and unipolar logic families in bipolar logic families you have saturated and unsaturated one in saturated you have many out of that i have just cited five of them one is rtl the second one is dtl the third one is ttl fourth one is i square l and the fifth one is dctl kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha to mujhe puchna hai mera ye jo the way i'm writing it down if you are not understanding you please let me know in unsaturated it is ecl uh, and the other one is kotki ttl in unipolar logic family you have p mos n mos and c mos sabne likha सबने ड्रॉ किया यस 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 सर। 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 आई 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 थिंक थिंक हैव ओनली मिनट्स इन मी, सो विद दिस विल जस्ट टेल यू अबाउट द बायपोलर एंड यूनिपोलर ओके और बाकी चीजें हम बाद में लेंगे सो लॉजिक फैमिलीज में मैंने आपको बताया था दैट लॉजिक फैमिलीज इट इज अम्पेटेबल यू नो द ग्रुप ऑफ कम्पेटेबल डिवाइस दैट इज आई सी With the same logic levels, either it is a positive or negative. Okay. Now, logic families. Me, I am going to see this. That it is a broad classification. How is it? So, it is a bipolar logic family or unipolar. Now, you must have studied this bipolar and unipolar. Okay. The example of bipolar, you must have studied BJT. BJT. Who is saying that bipolar junction transistor? And unipolar, me, I have studied UJT. Unipolar junction transistor. Okay. Unipolar junction transistor. Okay. You bipolar uh, logic families. Me, these are the examples. BJT or unipolar. Me example is UJT. Okay. लेकिन मुझे आपको उसका definition बताना है bipolar का और unipolar का. So here the one important thing about the bipolar is that in this bipolar, uh, in this bipolar, uh, the, the main important thing is that your uh, charge carrier कौन है? आपका current कौन लेके जाता है? so bipolar may it can be either it can be either uh, sorry uh, in bipolar it is uh, the charges are carried by electrons electrons and holes electrons and holes okay so what i mean to say that it is in, in the bipolar uh, logic family electrons and holes they play an important role in carrying the charges in carrying the charges okay in unipolar it will be either by electrons it will be either by electrons or it can or it can be through holes through holes Now here the important thing is that is why it is called as a unipolar and bipolar. Bipolar me electrons or holes dono kam karte hai to charge the carriers, to charge the carriers. Electrons negative charge carry karta hai or holes will carry the positive charge. But in the unipolar it will be either electrons or holes. That is why it's unipolar. Ek hi charge, one type of charge carrier it will be carry either by hole or electron. In bipolar it is. Electrons as well as holes. So that is the main difference between this. Okay. So bipolar ka. If you have to understand the example, you can keep the example of a BJT. By 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 bipolar junction transistor. Usme pata hai apko tar usme electrons or uh, holes dono bhi charge carry karte in transistor. And if you have to keep the example of a unipolar uh, logic family ka example, agar apko lena hai. जिसमें इलेक्ट्रॉन्स या फिर होल को कैरी होता है सो यू कैन टेक द मॉस ओके मेटल ऑक्साइड सेमीकंडक्टर फेट फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर एफ ईटी ओके सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ मॉस फेट इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ मॉस फेट 
it is called as a mosfet so as far as mosfet example is concerned unipolar junction capacitor mein this is a example of a mosfet to so, mosfet ke hi hum ye sab cheeze hai jo hum dekhne wale hai aur bipolar mein it is your bjt it is your bjt i am taking one example but in this rtl dtl ttl i square l and dctl we will see different different components which are mostly used लेकिन उसके पहले हमको देखना पड़ेगा व्हाट इज अ सैचुरेटेड बायपोलर लॉजिक फैमिली एंड अनसैचुरेटेड बायपोलर लॉजिक फैमिली ओके सो आई थिंक फॉर टुडे आई कैन स्टॉप हियर आप लोगों को पता चला व्हाट इज अ बायपोलर एंड यूनिपोलर द डिफरेंस यस ओके इसमें और एक ऐसा डिफरेंस मैं कर सकता हूं कि जैसे बायपोलर में इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और होल्स दोनों भी है ओके okay? तो करंट फ्लोज इसमें जो हो रहा है वो दोनों डायरेक्शन से करंट फ्लो हो रहा है ओके बिकॉज यू हैव इलेक्ट्रो होल्स एज वेल एज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो यहाँ पे बायपोलर में जो करंट फ्लो होता है वो दोनों डायरेक्शन से फ्लो हो सकता है बट इन यूनिपोलर इट इज इन यूनिपोलर इट इज ओनली वन डायरेक्शन क्योंकि उसमें इधर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रहते हैं या फिर होल रहते हैं दोनों नहीं रहते दोनों रहते हैं इसलिए इट इज बायपोलर और इसमें इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ही रहते हैं या फिर होल रहता है सो दैट इज वाई द करंट फ्लो इज ओनली इन वन डायरेक्शन सो दैट इज ऑल्सो वन डिफरेंस यू कैन है between the bipolar and unipolar okay so unipolar only one direction current flows in this you have two direction or both the directions is it clear to everyone yes sir any question before i wind up kisi ko kuch question hai kuch doubt hai please ask me attendance ho gaya अटेंडेंस नहीं हुआ मनप्रीत यू कैन टेक द अटेंडेंस फास्ट यस सर सर हाँ हाँ बोलो नितिन सर थे मीट में अच्छा थे क्या हाँ हाँ ठीक है अच्छा ठीक है ठीक है फिर ओके अगर नितिन सर थे तो देन इट इज फाइन बिकॉज सर ने शायद इस पर लिखा नहीं ना चैट पे नहीं लिखा क्या अटेंडेंस ओके नो प्रॉब्लम अगर सर आए थे तो सर ने अटेंडेंस लिया होगा So yes. we will stop for today. We will meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Okay. Bye, bye.